Hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast. I am Rem, and I am your Kuya Dev. And I am finally back. Medyo nahayatos ako mid-season kasi alam nyo na uh, sa Pilipinas biglang nagkaroon na flu season tapos sumabay pa sa Omicron. Um, don't worry, uh, negative ako and my wife. So ano lang siya, nagkatrakaso lang kami. And medyo naging lingering yung ubo ko so I had to really um, rest my voice and my throat. Medyo nangangati pa rin yung lalamunan ko but uh, medyo mas okay na okay na. Uh, nakapagsalita na, nakapag-meetings na. So yeah, uh, sana magtuloy-tuloy na. Um, again, uh, thank you and I'm sorry. I uh, really had to take that break. But uh, for today, I want to discuss siguro yung... Gusto ko i-share kung ano yung naging experience ko during my first three months. As a web developer, uh, and spe- especially as a, or specifically, as a um, career shifter into the tech industry. So, medyo unique yung, yung, yung kalagayan ko kasi I, I, I wasn't uh, uh, someone na talagang from the tech industry through and through because nga career shifter ako i came from uh, electrical engineering and although medyo malapit kasi technical pa rin but in terms of programming and uh, creating applications it was very different because engineering is really application of uh, scientific principle principles and uh, we had you know, one or two programming subjects as opposed to, you know, the tech industry na talagang full-time kang programmer. So, ikwento ko lang paano yun nangyari, ano yung naging process ko or naging experience ko uh, when I jumped from engineering to programming or web development. So, <clears throat> sa unang few, uh, the first few weeks talagang sobrang yung yung sinasabi nilang imposter syndrome, sobrang tinde. And looking back now, I think, di naman siya nawala kahit ngayon. <laughs> Just the other day, I was, I was feeling ano, like an imposter kasi may isang bagay ako na hindi masolve. But, Yung pinagkaiba lang siguro is when I was first starting, hindi ko, pala, hindi ko pa alam kung paano siya i-handle. Uh, I didn't have you know, the knowledge about, hindi ko nga alam na ano siya, eh, na imposter syndrome siya. That's that it's something na pinag-aaralan ng mga psychologists and scientists. I just felt na parang nung panahon yun talagang Baka, ma, baka ma-discover nila na parang I'm a fraud. I'm not really a developer. Back then, di ko, di ko alam i-handle yon. Although today, alam ko nang i-manage. Uh, I, I'm more aware of it and I acknowledge it and I even embrace it nowadays. But back then talaga, sobrang yung kaba, yung kaba na parang uh, para, para dito ba ako? Parang Anytime baka malaman nila na, yun nga, uh, I'm a fraud, you know? So, it was an everyday struggle. And uh, it sometimes kept me up at night. Hindi ako makatulog. Kasi yung iniisip mo, lalo na pagka may bug ka na hindi, or may, may, may isang task ka na hindi mo matapos, hindi mo ma-figure out, parang, nun ako, baka... Yung, yung boss ko, malaman to, tapos ano, hanapin sa akin, tapos sabi hindi mo pala kaya yan eh. Tapos hindi ako ma-regular. Di ba? Parang ganun. Uh, anytime, pwede ka nilang tanggalin kasi, ano ka eh, uh, you're not, you're not regular pa eh. 
you're just a uh, a patawag dito uh, probi probationary so andun yung fear na damn <laughs> what am i doing tama ba tong ginawa ko na pumulong ako ng industry iniwan ko yung yung previous career ko na sobrang stable although sabihin na natin na hindi ako masaya and hindi na ako nag-grow and in terms of salary sobrang baba uh, but it was you know it was it was decent decent you know okay naman nababuhay naman ako uh, stable naman ako hindi ako matatakot na anytime pwede akong tanggalin but dito it was a very very new experience for me kasi yun nga to take it you know, take it into ano uh, into context na yung stable job ko ngayon i was there nine years and it was my first job this was everything was new for me yung pagtalong ko ng industry pagtalong ko ng company and the tasks sobrang I was really overwhelmed. And good thing naman, na sa akin naman, ako naman, na-challenge naman ako na I, I really wanted to prove myself na I belonged here. This is, why, this is what I want. And I was given the chance to, to, ano na, di ba? to, to prove myself in the tech industry that I, I belong or I deserve to have a career in this industry despite na iba yung pinanggalingan ko and i was you know yung matindi pa doon kasi yung inoffer sa akin na position you know medyo maswerte rin in a way kasi they offered me or binigay nila talaga sa akin is a senior level position agad hindi ako dumaan sa junior Medyo swerte rin, medyo timing na ganun yung nangyari. But the pressure, yung pressure na mag-perform ka as a senior, you know, sobrang immense. Tapos, magdating ko dun, pagka, pagka, you know, sa first day ko, nakita ko parang, Medyo may mga edad na yung kasama ko. Yung iba, yung ibang kasama ko, may mga may edad na. Tapos yung, may mga bata rin. Karamihan din sa kanila bata. But may, mga, may edad na. Ito yung, ah, tinignan ko, ito yung mga senior talaga. And, ano pa, syempre, dun sa previous work ko, kilala ko na yung mga yun, di ba? Parang, kampante ka na sa kanila. Alam mo na yung timpla nila. And, You know, these are a bunch of people na hindi ko kilala. Hindi ko alam yung temperament nila. Hindi ko alam paano, paano sila nakausapin, paano sila i-approach. And I'm an introvert. Medyo asocial din ako. Medyo hindi rin ako marunong makihalubilo sa mga tao. Lalo na pagka sa strangers, you know, to approach people. I don't, I'm not really comfortable with that uh, dynamic. So, you know, the yun ba lang, ha? Nasa, nasa first few weeks pa lang ako, ha? It was very... It was a real struggle. Ano, mentally, psychologically, emotionally. Yun nga. Pero yun nga, yun. I took it as a challenge na. Yun nga. I really have to prove my worth. And despite all that, I was enjoying. I was having fun. Parang I was having a blast. Despite nung pressure, despite nung feeling na impostor ka, that you're a fraud. The challenge was fun. You know, solving problems every, every day, yung iba-iba yung problems, hindi pa ulit-ulit. Yung hindi mo alam kung ano yung magiging problema mo, problema mo the next day. And you get to solve things. Sobrang fulfilling. Sobrang sarap 
nung naging ano, nung naging ano naging feeling na binabayaran ka na para dito. You know, doing something you love. And for the for the longest time, I didn't feel that sa career ko. And it was refreshing. It was great. Tapos medyo maswerte rin ako kasi yung first not company ko na napuntahan kasi parang sakto eh. They were a startup uh, based in the US. Yun yung main ano nila, main uh, office nila. But they ventured into the Philippines and decided to create their uh, web development team here in the PH. Dito sa Ortigas. And maswerte ako na, na ako yung parang pang ilang hire ba nila? Parang pang lima yata or something? So, I got to be a part of the pioneer team. So, kami yung naging, ano, naging pioneer nung, ano, nung, nung development team nung startup na yon. Actually, they didn't, they didn't have a web development team sa US eh. They had uh, some in India and some in, uh, I think, South Africa. But in the Philippines, parang kami yung naging core. Kami talaga yung naging core na gagawing regular. Yung ibang developers parang ano eh, uh, on contracts lang eh. They weren't really uh, full-time employees. Pero kami, kami yung magiging pioneer. <clears throat> And because of that, parang pagdating ko dun, everyone was, you know, didn't know everyone. Parang hindi kami magkakakilala lahat. And I thought na parang pagdating ko doon, magkakakilala na sila, then I'll have to, you know, to learn the, col- the culture, the office culture, and to, you know, to mingle with them or try to fit with their with their uh, dynamic or with their, you know, camaraderie. Pero hindi yung naging ganun eh. Parang pagdating ko doon, parang, uy, bago. Pare-pare tayong bago rito. Uh, yung iba, parang a few, a few months pa lang. Yung iba, a few weeks pa lang. So, I got to be a part of building the the culture of or the initial culture of that company which was great again another another new thing for me uh, and i learned a lot and sobrang pasalamat ko na lang sobrang babait ng mga ng mga nakasama ko doon it's sobrang gagaling nila sobrang babait medyo ano yun sobrang swerte rin eh sobrang swerte rin na nangyari sa akin i'm very thankful lang, even to this day na Your first chance ko, first job ko in the tech industry was was a very good, you know, uh, introduction into the tech industry. So, yeah, the first two of a uh, first three months, ganon, ganon yun na nararamdaman ko, but over time dahil nga maganda yung naging yung naging situation ko ron, maganda yung naging start ko dun sa career ko in tech nagwin yung ano ko yung 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 takot yung pangamba although ano rin uh, andun pa rin <laughs> sabi ko nga hanggang ngayon meron pa rin eh but i got to learn na even though i'm i was a career shifter halos pare pareho kami na nararamdaman ng mga ng mga kapwa ko developer during that time even the seasoned ones medyo ramdam mo na parang ano eh parang may ano yan uh, may anxiety na i think ngayon i know na parang it's normal among web developers or even everyone yeah, everyone in programming uh, even my My uh, boss now, sinasabi niya sa akin yan, eh, na parang pamisa-misan talaga. Nakakaramdam din siya ng imposter syndrome eh. Na parang kasi CTO siya eh. So, yung pressure na mag-perform, sobrang, sobrang no, matindi. No? 
but that's a story for another uh, episode siguro but you know um so ganun ganun yung naging experience ko um over time yon um i used that energy to ano lang to to be productive you know so, yun yung nagiging nagiging push ko para pag pagusayan di ba kasi may mga times talaga tinatamad ka eh no? tatamad ka hindi naman lagi hindi ka naman laging productive talaga but you know i remind myself na baka anytime pwedeng ka matanggal and true enough may mga umalis may mga umalis din na na developers kasi parang hindi nila kinaya yung yung work or hindi sila hindi sila natutuwa parang ganun uh, I didn't understand then because syempre dito ako excited ako eh parang uh, ito yung pinapangarap kong ano ba mangyari sa buhay ko na or mangyari sa karir ko and I couldn't understand but no but parang hindi ka masaya sa ano, sa sa work mo but you know uh, looking back kanya kanya tayo eh di ba uh, <clears throat> siguro nagsawa na siya dahil medyo matagal na rin siya sa industry sa so, nagsawa na rin parang yun naramdaman ko sa engineering feeling ko ganun din yung nangyari sa kanya so but that made me realize na parang yeah even though career shifter ako there's there was a reason but nila ako kinuha and they trusted me they put they put their uh, full trust in me and i got to perform and in less than one year yon naging ano nga ako uh naging team leader ng javascript team nila and i handled uh, all, uh, almost uh, the uh, uh, almost 10 developers i think uh, here and uh, abroad ng uh, nahawakan ko so Siguro yung ano lang, takeaway lang dito is kung ano man yung nararamdaman mo pagka lalo na sa mga career shifter or career starters in in in, in the tech industry kung nakakaramdam ka ng imposter syndrome it's know that it's it's natural everyone experiences it even the uh, the most seasoned of uh, developers Lahat tayo nakakaramdam niyan. And uh, just be aware of it. You know? Yung self-awareness mo. But ba't, ba't ko nararamdaman to? Parang ganun. Do I take this as, as a challenge? Do I use this energy to to fuel my, you know, my desire to solve this bug? You know, um, i-frame mo lang yung, yung, yung feeling na yon. Try to ha- harness it and uh, into something na productive. So yeah, that's my ano, the first three months in lang we, we, we grew. Uh may mga dumating na mga bagong developers and eventually uh, in just one year sobrang naging lumaki talaga yung yung team. And to nagdating na yung mga juniors and I got to mentor people. You know from you know <clears throat> from someone na kinakabahan or feeling na imposter or fraud to, to mentoring people a laki ng jump in just one year actually di mo na kumabot ng one year doon parang 11 11 months lang ay uh, i got i uh, jumped na eh. i changed the uh, companies na but still, for that 11, 11 months, sobrang laki na naging growth ko. And I still, I'm still very thankful kasi sila yung company na, you know, that gave me that golden yes. That we're getting you and we're entrusting our business on your sets of, set of skills. And I appreciate that. Hanggang ngayon. 
especially dun sa ano, hindi ko na siya babanggitin yung pangalan ni pangalan niya. Dun sa nag uh, nag-recruit sa akin. Yung naging project manager namin, siya yung nag-recruit. And he was the one who really got me into the tech and into the tech industry. Siya yon. So, yeah, um I guess that's it for this episode. Uh it's 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 so good to be back. And hopefully magtuloy-tuloy na to hanggang sa maibigay ko na yung uh, I I know some of your uh waiting for the episode about or yung interview ko with uh Jimson Sulit. But yeah, onting ano na lang, onting mm, antay na lang. Uh thank you for uh, listening and see you again next episode. This is Kuya Dev signing out.